Greetings gamers, hopefully you had fun with Ixalan, but it's time to move on. Yes, we are starting to see spoilers roll out for the new remastered set, Ravnica Remastered. Now, we've had a few remastered sets come out, Time Spiral and Dominaria, both being excellent sets on their own. Ravnica will feature plenty of cards from the original block all the way up to War of the Spark, featuring original reprints of cards, new versions of cards with an old school style border, and of course, brand new borderless anime cards. So today I thought I'd just go over the top five cards we've seen so far unveiled as commanders. Honorable mention here, of course. No, it's not Cranko. I know Cranko. You know Cranko. We all are really familiar with Cranko. It's not Cranko. Savra, Queen of the Golgari. Now, this is a sacrifice commander here with all the payoffs. Now, it's not insanely powerful, albeit a bit cruel, as whenever you sacrifice a black creature, you may pay two life. If you do, each opponent sacrifices a creature as well. I'll level with you. Half the reason this is on here is because of its new anime art. I think it looks fantastic. I like the use of colors. I like the little paying homage to the original by having the little green skeleton looking thing. Great card, and I'll definitely put it in my Golgari Sacrifice deck. A word from our sponsors. Hey Magic players, are you getting enough fruit in your diet? No? Well that's where we come in. Ariette's Apples. Packed with lots of nutrients, we come in a variety of flavors including red, green, and silver. Packed with tons of flavor. Remember, Ariette's Apples. Suspicious, yet delicious. Are you bored? Looking to meet new friends? Possibly a goblin monkey looking thing? Well good news! You can join a pirate crew today! Reach's new pirate crew is open to applicants today. Venture across the high seas? Get new loot? Maybe get eaten by a dinosaur? Apply today! Have you ever considered adoption? Hi, my name's Doug from Doug EDH. And I'm here to tell you that literally dozens of pieces of cardboard that are based on animals that are creatures Go undrafted at your local game store every week. Just looking for homes in a deck. These poor animal based pieces of cardboard are actually pretty playable and just looking for a home. Be it Gruel Aggro. Or is it Spell Slinging? Or perhaps Gruel Aggro. Adopt a local animal card today. Also adopt animals in real life because that's pretty cool. Number 5 Aurelia, Exemplar of Justice. Also featuring an anime card, this rendition of Aurelia is a battle heavy card. Having Mentor to give out plus one plus one commander to your smallest creatures. It also gives out plus two plus zero to a creature at the beginning of combat. Also gives it trample if that creature is red and vigilance if that creature is white. Now these two are not equal. The vigilance is much better here and I see an angel tribal theme deck that has a lot of built in evasion already. That way you can fly over your opponents and still have cards to block. Since the original printing of Aurelia, we've gotten a few new angels from Caldeheim, a really good one, Giada from New Capenna, and of course we can't forget the amazing Segovian angel. Anyway, great angel themed deck that can run Embercleave, what's not to love? Number 4. Hey, hey Carnival Barker, I'm reading the script that you wrote here and like, real quick, how do you pronounce this name? Okay, uh, what he said. The nemesis to the pithy needle here wants to hit you, it wants to hit you by discarding a land card, then it wants to hit you, and then after that it wants to hit you. It's a really cool mix of like Gruel Aggro and Landfall, and this really is a Lands Matter deck that has big stuff at the end of its curve. And not only does this deck enjoy playing Ren and 6, but this deck also enjoys playing Ren and 7, which is something you do not say every day, but overall a pretty fantastic commander. It'll beat up on your opponents while playing a little outside the box. Number three, Rakdos, Lord of Riots. And we'll just get this out of the way immediately. We have recently gotten a very similar commander. Rowan from the Wilds of Eldraine set is very similar. Both these creatures sit there and say, pain is really my medicine. But there's something so flavorful about a giant demon that's the head of a cult dealing damage to everything. Now Rowan is probably a better storm style build commander comboing off on the turn you tap her. Rakdos is way more of a creature based beatdown deck that's also attached to a 6 6 flying trampled body. This deck is home to all your favorites like Phyrexian Arena and Sanguine. Of course, the Plague Spitter. This deck is super simple and super fun. It wants to run a bunch of Rakdos burn stuff and a bunch of demons and just hit your opponents. Number 2 Brubak the Grand Delinquentist. As a mill mage myself, I am very excited and happy to see this card. But, as Reddit user Xanohort's Guardian has pretty much summed up my feelings saying, 
finally freed from Jumpstart Jail, but at Mythic, I wonder if it'll do anything to the price. Yeah, that's actually a very good point. Bruvac was originally printed in Jumpstart. It's been fairly pricey, peaking at $70 back in October of 2020 after its release, and currently still sitting at $30. This card makes Mono Blue Mill viable in Commander, allowing cards that were originally designed to mill out 60 card formats really shine. So your Maddening Cacophony will mill for 16, your Fractured Sanity mills for 28, and you do have some cards that are like instant win cons or near instant win cons with Bruvac, including your Terezian Mindbreaker to kill your opponents instantly and cut your losses to leave them a Ruin Crab away from dying. Really cool reprint. I'd be excited to open this up in a pack. Number one, Niv Mizzet, the Perun. This kick-ass commander is the perfect Izzet commander. He loves drawing cards, he loves dealing damage every time you draw a card. He draws a card whenever you cast an instant or sorcery. He's also a 5-5 five, five flyer, and did I even mention he himself cannot be countered? Yeah, Niv is pretty great. He combos off with all your brainstorms, he goes infinite with your curiosity, he even lets you draw cards from just playing counter spells. Really just an excellent commander. Number 34 <laughs> on EDH Rec. And a nice new anime art looks super sweet, but really the old border just looks fantastic here. Overall, what an amazing commander, and he'll kill your opponents faster than the ending of this 